Welcome back to Pinwood's Playground, and today we'll be going over coding exercise 49, and that's going to be on the filter method. Um, so filter is uh, very much like math in JavaScript, except uh, filter, it's going to create a new array as well, so you're going to kind of do the same thing. But what you do is um, you give it a truthy or falsy uh, evaluation, right? And then it's only going to return the things that are true. So um, I'm going to show you what that means um, when we go over to JSPIN, but let's just get the pseudo code out of the way real quick. So now another thing that I see a lot of people miss is you have to write a function. So create valid usernames function um, accepts array of strings and return new array um, you know, filter names less than 10 characters and then return the new array. So, all right, cool. Oh, and see that was sorry from the last exercise. Um, cool. Oh no, wait a bit. Okay, so um, what I was referring to when I was talking about this part being a like an evaluation, like a truthy or a boolean evaluation, is um, let's take something like map for instance, and let's do. Um, yeah, and actually, did it give us the array? Uh, nope, didn't give us an array. All right, well let's let's create one then, guys. Uh, let me see names, and yeah, we'll do. I'm just gonna make sure that I have some. Let's have it make sure that some are over ten and some are under ten. Okay, so if you remember from the, the dot map video, if you do everything in one line, there's that implicit return. So, you know, let's say we were trying to be slick. We're like, all right, do map, that'll be name, and then name dot, oh, well, <laughs> I guess I should have started this. All right, so first, I'm gonna do filter, because I, I should have started with this, but how do we know how long each name was? Well. Let's see what name is with filter. And just like with map, it just loops over each item and whatever you call it in here. Like we could even just call it dumb. And this will still work as long as it matches throughout the function. We still get it. All right, so we got that. And that length is something that's on strings, strings and arrays. OK, cool. So that is right. So, all right, so that was just a quick bit on, that's probably what we're going to have to do. But with something like map, if we were to try that, names.map, and then we'll do name. And we're like, okay, well, we only care if the length is less than 10, right? And we wanted to do it, and we wanted to do it in one line because we wanted to be slick. All right, well, I mean, it's got an implicit return, right? So if this is true, that it'll return it. Well, what that returns, oh, that's not even the right one, sorry. Console.log. So what you'll see is, it's actually just returning if this is a true or false statement, which, um, I mean, if that's what you if you want if that's what you wanted, then this would work perfectly fine. But we actually want the name, and so that's where filter comes into play. So, do times b again. We'll do names dot filter, and this this evaluation right here will return will will be a true or false value. But what filter does is it only returns the true ones, and it does it on its own. So here, we shouldn't be seeing true or false anymore. We should just be seeing the ones that were satisfied by those checks. Now, even 
with filter because you know i just showed that it's super quick and easy on in mine even if it's this is just like math though if we if we ended up doing something like this and we had to do we had to check like a bunch of things you know thing that's not going to work because again it's only an implicit return when it's on one line so here we would still have to return it within that function so now you'll see that that worked again so um so let's take the old one let's see if that works and it should uh oh oh <laughs> Oh, good. <laughs> oh, man. I did the thing that I see people do wrong all the time on this one. So let's read the error. Valid usernames should be defined. Hmm. Okay, valid usernames is the function. Well, I haven't created the function, so it's not defined because I didn't create it. So, okay, cool. So we kind of understand this is how we're going to get the new array. So now we just have to create a function. So now it's going to be valid usernames, and it's going to take in an array of a lot of things. Now, this is another thing people kind of get confused by. So an array is just one one piece, uh, a piece of data, or I'm trying to think of how to say this. So, all right, so names. Names has one, two, three, four, five, six, seven things in it, but it's still one array. So you'll see a lot of people try and do this, or you know they're not sure how many things to pass in when in an actuality, all we care about is it's just one thing. And so we know it's gonna be an array, so we're gonna be able to loop over it, which that's kind of where this plays into to effect. So we got R, because now that's going to be the array. Even though this is up here, we actually don't have access to this, right? It's going to be passed in when this valid users is called. So it'll be it would get called like this, valid user name. And then it would be names. If we still had our, our names array up here, you know, all the names are in there. That's how it happens. So a lot of people will think this needs to be named this, whatever the array is, or this needs to be whatever the array is. When in actuality, we just need to make sure that the parameter and inside of the function, we're using the same variable or parameter for that. So, all right, filter, blah, blah, blah. And then we're going to have B, and then we have to return the new array, right? So we'll return B. And that's, that should work. We'll see what else. This one this one got a little out of hand because I'm, I'm re-recording these. Uh, okay, so that should work. So let's see. And if not, we can go through it. Oh, sweet. Okay, so that did work. So that's, that's one way to go through this. Um, there's two other ways to kind of do this that shorten it up. So first, kind of like we were looking at earlier, we could really just do names. Oh, names, name dot length is less than 10. And we still need to return B, but that cuts, that cuts a couple lines out for us. Okay, awesome. And then um, there's one more, and this one really seems to trip people up. And I, I do understand why, because I had troubles with this when I first started, but since this dot filter returns an array, it's not actually going to return that array to, to us until it's done. So B is not the array until filter is done looping over whatever it's looping over. So what you can really do is you can even do return. And because this is going to wait until it's done, it'll return here. And then we're returning whatever this returns, which happens to be that new array. So this should also work. Again, let's just make sure, just make sure I'm not a big fat liar. Oh, that's not at all what I wanted to say. All right, well, this one's easy enough. We can just do that.
And perfect. So that was three different ways to tackle the same problem. Um, I hope you guys learned something. If you guys have questions, comments, concerns, please put them in the um, in the comment section below. Otherwise, like, share, and subscribe, and we'll see you in the next video.